Welcome back. Sargon here. Thanks for joining me again for another episode of City Skylines in the beautiful city of Bytown. Now, last time we had built this area out over here, and we're going to come back to that in another episode. Now, I had intended to build some actual commercial proper areas. However, at the end of the episode, uh, I did develop all the way over here. Um, that's right. I updated the rows, which increased our land values, which also increased our population. And if I turn on the notifications, we start seeing the fact that their buildings, uh, commercial buildings and some industrial buildings demanding workers. And if I actually let this run, it starts to get a little bad. So I'm going to keep this paused. And what we're going to do is expand. Now I've decided to unlock all 81 tiles to allow for a more natural development as opposed to following the game and buying a square and it's kind of cutting things off and not really allowing you to build how you want to build things out properly. So do have the option of continuing down here. So having the map unlocked, I do have the ability to expand anywhere we want. Now I do have other plans. What I want to do is, is eventually continue down here, but what I really, really need and kind of gave a hint in the opening uh, intro is I want to expand into this area. And that is primarily so that I can start connecting to the highway, giving some other areas to come into the, the main area that I currently have developed. And we do have two connections that we can make. We're going to make one here and we're going to make one here. And we're going to start developing this middle area as well. So let's get to it. We are going to start with this particular area here. Now this is an industrial area and I do want to come back at some point in the near future to redevelop this and we'll do a couple things in here uh, uh, once we start to build this area out. But we're going to start, I'm going to remove this road here, or piece of the road, come in and grab a four lane road. And I'm going to actually, we will eventually upgrade this entire area up. But what I want to do to start is I'm going to grab this. Yeah, we are in normal mode. Perfect connection. And we are going to stop as soon as we get the longest bridge that we can. Extend this out. Now, to make this easier on myself, I'm going to turn anarchy. And this is going to make sure I've got a perfect road going over in terms of the angle. And then of course I will disconnect this and this area here as well. So what I've decided to do is build a partial cloverleaf. It's actually not that complicated. So once again, we're gonna come back to our For You Road. Actually, sorry, before we do that, I'm gonna make this easy on myself. So we do have the network multi-tool, which has the ability to create uh, parallel rows nice and easily. And we're going to overdo this for our purposes. So we have one on this side. I'm going to space that out by two. Come to this road over here, repeat the exact same thing. Move that out two additional units or clicks there. Don't worry, we're going to come back and fill this in and beautify it. But the reason why I wanted those roads there first is because when I come up, once again, we'll do 12 units, 12 units, come across. Now the game is saying that there's in the way, and that's because just way the pillars are coming in, but that's the beauty of anarchy. Sorry, we're going to come back, make sure we're aligned. Let's 
feel like we're off. Just, just the way I'm looking at it. Just double check. Better safe than sorry. 15 units. Turn on our anarchy, key. Place it down. And we're going to come in and have a look. In fact, I didn't even put the pillar in. We might put one in just to make it look good. But for now, we're going to focus on building this area out. Now, to make this a little easier on me as well. Okay, so we're going to come in and pick the Farsi brush here. Make this nice and easy on us. And we're just going to remove uh, the trees in this area. 100% make it a little bigger. And boom. That's just going to allow us to make the interchanges that we want without having a hard time looking through the trees. So we're going to come back. I want to make it 15 units at least. Uh, actually looks about even. So we're going to do that 16 units. Now to get the perfect slope, you need to come out 12 units. Connect that there. Come to this side. Bring it down 12 units and then attach it. So there we go. Great bridge. Okay, so now that to, we need to do is make the park low. We're going to come out five units. We're going to do eight and eight. Uh, we're going to turn off road guidelines. Uh, it's giving us a bit of a hassle, so we're going to come up from this way. Need to turn anarchy on for this. Don't worry, it's not a problem. And I built the park glow. No. Okay, so now that we have that here, we can actually just delete this road here. Gives us the connection we need. So this allows us to come here. But now what we want to do, you can, take, you can basically take this from any which way you want, but we're going to come from the middle of this point here. So if you remember, we came out eight and then eight. This is the center. Come in eight as well. And that's going to give us this nice bend. Delete that. And now what we need to do is and I'm going to grab, start off with the three way, or sorry, three way. Um, yeah, a three lane row, one plus two. And we want this the other way. Come in here. Oh, I'm going to add that in there. And we're going to go down to a two lane multi direction highway. which is this one up until this point. We can now use move it. And we're just going to take that. And as you can see, just that slight adjustment fixes that little area there. And I think what I've noticed is I've accidentally grabbed the ones with sound barriers, which we don't need. So we're going to remove that as well as here. There's going to be no immediate residential area, so there's no need to make that investment with the sound barriers. You can if you wish. And now what we need to do is replicate the park low on this side. So we're going to come around. I'm going to repeat what we did, which is come out. In our case, we want five curve road tool. Eight units yeah. and I think that there, there you go eight units come over here get a nice turn there get rid of this come back with move it just nudge that a little Actually, I'll fix that up a bit
So now we've got the park low on both sides, come back. And now we need to get, oh, kind of do things uh, both at the same time. Once again, we need to make There we go. Two lanes on the way coming in. Grab just a two lane highway. So we have the split. Just to make sure to make things make sense. We will adjust our flow right there. So now we've got that partially done and we can come in and now Connect, we'll turn back on our road guidelines. See if we can grab a node, grab one there. And I'm actually going to extend this out. So once again, just to make sure this is nice and smooth, going to use the network multi-tool, out two again. And now we can come in and use the join oh, come on, come on. There we go. We can join those two together. Put the remove the sound barriers again. Apparently I love them at the moment. And we will connect the road right there. So now we have the way on coming this way. We have the way coming on the highway that way. Now we need to add the connection to get off the highway. Once again, come to our curved road tool, grab the node. Even though that's off, I'm fine with it. Plenty of space to come on and off. Now, the other thing is we can make this slightly better. And we're going to use Traffic Manager. But before we actually get to Traffic Manager, we're going to come in and want to put, and we can come here. We're actually going to put an off ramp coming this way. Once again, bad habit. Connect the road here. Upgrade. Upgrade. Use the move it tool. And we're actually going to make this a little easier on folks. Oh, went too far. Allow them to much more easily split. And I've grabbed the wrong road, so let's fix that. Let's fix my mistake. There we go. A one-way road with two lanes. And let me show you on this side why we're doing it, and then I'll go finish up the other side, is we're gonna use Traffic Manager and we're going to use this so they can only turn right. Now I do want to use lane connector because I want these guys to turn right only, the guys to go straight only. I'm going to actually move them to that lane. These guys can only go straight through. These guys can only turn right. And you'll see, I can do this here. 
these guys can only go that way. These guys can go that way. So there's no node. There should be no traffic here. And same thing, those will go straight through. So let me quickly uh, do the other side and I'll be right back. So now that we have our park low done here, what we are going to do, two things, and I'm gonna do some of it on camera uh, in the episode, and then I will just take care of the rest quickly. But now that we have everything connected, we are gonna do a bit of lane mathematics because we have three lanes uh, here, one going off, but three going forward. There's a few ways we can do it, including uh, using lane connectors, which we will still do to make sure of a few things. However, the game just does like it a little better. So we're gonna come in here when the lane count works. We have once again, our two lane uh, highway, going one way and I hit the wrong thing. Ah, there we go. Two lanes, going to do a little, some lane mathematics and it is not liking me at the moment. Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. There we go. I actually just have to click. That is a charity keyboard interface error, not a game error. So we have, all our lanes coming here. So two lanes, one lane goes back to three. And we will just repeat on the other side. There we go. And now we will come back into our traffic manager. And just to make sure nobody does anything wonky, do our lane connectors. Come down here lane connectors and lane connectors. So everybody's gonna do what they are supposed to do. Now in this area, if we come down and have a look, the road starts coming out of alignment and we will wanna make sure this is straight because we wanna avoid this bend or this little jog that traffic has to do. Obviously, this does exist in road networks. However, since we have the ability to fix things, so we are going to come to node controller. Node controller activate. Ah, node controller is activated. I was being a pumpkin. So we'll come here on the node. Hit shift. So click this node. And shift to align the roads. And now that road is technically straight and this lane will go well, but we also want to use no controller. The quickest way to get things going is at first to square things off or make ends straight. And this will really make the traffic flow a lot better. Now we do have the ability to expand this and really make it super smooth if we wish. So we will do 30. Now the other thing that we will end up doing here while we have this in this node is we are going to use the intersection marking tool because right now you just got this big gray blob. So this is this one is purely aesthetics and we do want to spend time making our city and our road networks and everything look as beautiful as possible. So click on the dot here, hold shift down. That gives us a straight line. We'll do this exact same thing on this one. It gets a solid line. Want to use this, come around, solid line. Now this, want to make solid. This one, we want to make solid. So that was holding shift. Now if we click, but don't hold shift, we do get our dashed line. Now the only other remaining thing that we need to do with this is fill this in. Once again, purely a static, but we click, hold alt. Sorry, hold alt first, click. And then click on these three dots that now fills it in. This is supposed to be a Chevron. I am gonna to have to double check 
there is supposed to be a way everything is supposed to go, but you can invert. Um, you can move things around in terms of offsets or angles and then offset from lines if you want to like move that in. We don't. Uh, and there we go. So we do have. Mm, have to look and double check suit where that chevron is supposed to go. You can change the color if you want. We want to leave it at that white. But the nice thing we can do is we can just click and save this as a template. And we will say three to two off. Save that. So now that I have the Parklo built, I'm gonna do a little bit of detailing, uh, but we'll leave the rest of the build for the next episode. We are going to come and build out in this area and as well build another interchange in this area as well. So please stay tuned for that. Uh, I do appreciate you watching and until next time, and I will leave you with a brief city tour. Mm -hmm.